welcome back to the Bondathon. Today we're going to be looking at the first Bond book that I ever read, and so the one that cemented her in my heart as one of my favourite authors of all time. An extremely exclusive and prestigious list, if I do say so myself. Um, so, Am I Normal Yet uh, is the story of Evie. She's just started college and she's hoping to get away from this reputation that she earned for herself in high school after being hospitalised for mental health reasons as being the girl who went nuts. Uh, she's lowering her medication doses and hoping to fit in, keep up the charade of being normal, keep low profile, maybe do some dating, get some friends, but everything doesn't exactly go to plan. Uh, I absolutely love Evie and her story. Um, so that even with my English head on, I didn't make too many notes. Um, I was just enjoying it. Uh, Bond's obviously done her research and she isn't afla afraid of exploring the darker sides of mental health and the problems that come with it. Like she doesn't shy away from anything because she thinks it might be too disturbing or too much or that her readers might not understand it, which I think is great. Um, I personally think she does a really good job of conveying the struggles that come along with this type of problem, uh, especially like your personal need to like not seem difficult to other people, coupled with your need to look out for yourself and your health, which can ultimately make you difficult. Uh, the truly masterful thing is how Bourne manages not to alienate her more everyday readers not suffering with mental health issues because Evie's struggle to appear normal is something that everybody experiences, OCD or not. Um, and this is actually a lesson that she learns throughout her story. And I also like how the book doesn't only concentrate on Evie's problems that pertain to her mental illness, but also her more regular everyday problems as well. Um, she They're a bit more accessible to a wider range of readers, for example, making new friends at a new college, or even like your old friends growing up and possibly growing apart from you. So that's good. And of course, there's boys. Um, Evie actually has three love interests over the course of the story, one after another after another. Uh, and I love this when I first read the book in college because um, I felt that a lot of other YA books concentrate on this one slow burn romance. And um, that was not my experience realistic to my experience at all how I was experiencing romance as a young girl myself um I like that Evie's love life was just as hectic as my own and that the boys she met were just as useless as the ones I was coming across in real life um it was a relief to say the least and I felt less alone because of it <laughs> uh finally before I get into my ratings I wanted to mention the spinster club Bourne uses the club within the book to talk about a few issues that aren't necessarily related to the story or anything that's going on in the story, but they are definitely things that young feminists should be concerning themselves with. And with the help of her character's witty dialogue, I think that they sparked many a conversation. And in fact, uh, spinster clubs were formed all over the country um, and probably are still going to this day. I unfortunately did not have any cool friends that I could start a spinster club with, um, but these, this book, whilst not introducing me entirely to feminism, did inspire me to pick up some of the books written by and for feminists and to really start having these conversations in my own life. Um, a really inspiring piece from Born Here, I think. So, as far as characters go, um, like I said, I love Evie. She's really sympathetic and her voice is really genuine so that even if you don't identify with her and like her personal struggle you can understand her and what she's going through so you can't fall born there but even the supporting characters in this book are gems if i'm honest with you first there's the spinsters um angry opinionated amber and uber smart sex driven lottie uh, three totally different characters that nonetheless get on and actually complement each other in a lot of ways and there isn't a single one of them that you find unlikable uh, then there's Jane, who's totally obsessed with her new boyfriend, to the point of personality transplant, which even if you don't like her as a character, you can't say that you've never come across someone like this in real life, and so she's definitely a genuine one and a believable one. Uh, Evie's first date, Ethan, is somehow a charming scumbag, which we all know one. <laughs> and then there's Guy. 
I remember reading this book the first time when I was a teenager and being really taken with Guy and actually rooting for this romance to happen between him and Evie. And now reading back over it, I can see how problematic that was. But I feel like probably I just appreciated him as a character because he has a lot of depth really that is unexplored and so for characters I'm giving Bourne a big 5 out of 5. Woo! Starting off strong, bitch. Uh, as far as the humour goes, this one was spot on. Um, there's even a little Q&A with Bourne at the back where she says like humour is the gateway drug for feminism which just means that uh, she uses it in her books to start easy conversations as opposed to heavy ones and there were many instances when reading the book where I had a good chuckle and that's why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. So we're continuing strong, yeah? You know we're in the top 5 now, bish. Uh, representation. So Bourne's big focus in Am I Normal Yet was mental health and she did a really great job. Um, I especially liked Evie's big speech at the end about how it's possibly the patriarchy that's driving women nuts and men to off themselves. Um, I think it's a really poignant point and there are a lot of really poignant points made throughout the book and like I said representation of OCD and relapse was great. You really felt Evie's descent back into her own personal madness right along with her along with the feeling that she didn't really understand that she was going not like going nuts, but you know what I mean, like going back to that herself. Uh, four out of five. The message. Once again, there is not one set message in this book, but quite a few, and each of them were like equally important uh, in different ways. Um, the importance of letting people know how you're feeling and that you're struggling was the one that stood out the most to me, because people can't possibly know that you're drowning unless you tell them. And so we can't expect people to help us unless they we ask for it, you know what I mean? Um, this is perfectly encapsulated in the story of Evie's sister, Rose. Um, neither of them are willing to tell the other what's going on with them, and so Rose can't help Evie feel less crazy and less like she's failing to get better. And Evie can't help Rose, who's getting bullied at school because neither of them will open up about it. Coupled with this was the message that relapse is all a natural part of recovery and that you shouldn't be ashamed if you're afraid that you are relapsing. And it's actually really important to let people know because that's how you actually get yourself better, not just by ignoring it. Uh, four out of five. The Femme Factor. Now, uh, this, uh, this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the Femme Factor. Long, intricate character monologues about the importance and impact of feminism in our everyday lives, unafraid to shy away from the smaller feminist issues that everybody says doesn't matter, interspersed with witty commentary and a general feeling of sisterhood that cannot be challenged. Perfection, in my humble opinion. Uh, four out of five. <laughs> Uh, for my personal score, in all, I think Am I Normal Yet is a really important piece when it comes to mental health, with an honesty comparable to, like, It's Kind of a Funny Story, which is one of my other personal favourites. Um, and I also really personally enjoy it, thanks to just how well thought out and genuine the characters are. Like, you really get a feel for the people in this, and Evie's got this really unique voice that I love. Four out of five. And that's it. Um, the score is 25. Join me next time and we shall continue with the bourne -thon. Probably coming sooner than you might think because we are on lockdown. Don't you just love it? <laughs> this has been a questionable review and I will see you next time.